I'm a lifelong conservative, pro-Second Amendment, pro-Trump, pro-military, and pro-wall. That's Kelly Loeffler. I think this is just a great way to connect those dots between social justice and getting out and voting. A Republican senator from Georgia. What is happening on the streets of Atlanta this morning? Well, Ed, this is totally unacceptable. We cannot allow mob rule. And this is exactly what will happen if we defund the police. There is no place in the league. Um, there's no place in the WNBA. Abraham Lincoln reminded us that at all times, all American citizens are brothers of a common country. Self-expression is what protects Americans under their First Amendment rights in the United States Constitution. Kelly Loeffler, per her own website, claims to be a fighter for free speech. Well, let's put it to the test, shall we? The players donned Vote Warnock t-shirts to their respective games in an act of defiance against a tyrant and enabler of white supremacy, Kelly Loeffler, who co-owns the Atlanta Dream. That's right, a sitting U.S. senator worth $500 million owns a professional sports team. Her bread and butter, I mean her go-to low post move, is demanding the separation of sports and politics. She has done this performance art in a statement to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the major news outlet in the Atlanta, Georgia area. She called the players' his right to free speech cancel culture a term Republicans love using, along with players preferring to play politics than basketball. What she's really, really trying to say is, shut up and dribble. The separation of sports and politics. Hmm. From the family farm to the New York Stock Exchange, from the Atlanta Dream. Why feature you own the Atlanta Dream in a political ad, Kel Dog? Come on now. I'm Kelly Leffler. I approve this message. The players spoke out after Loeffler showed great disdain for players simply expressing themselves by planning anti racism messages. She demanded an American flag be placed on every jersey because, you know, separation of sports and politics, am I right? She went on Fox News bashing Black Lives Matter calling it all the points for hitting Republican bingo. Mob rule, Marxism, nuclear family, plus BLM threatens to destroy America. This song and dance is so old at this point, Kelly. She's using Trump-style tactics, factually incorrect fear-mongering, while stoking racial tension of the racist parts of America to garner support. Thus, the Players' Association of the WNBA made their voice heard after Loeffler's dubious and quite honestly hilarious statement. Atlanta Dream forward Elizabeth Williams, yes, Loeffler's own team, told ESPN, for effective change to happen, there has to be policy changes. And so if we're going to sit here and talk about wanting justice reform, part of that is making sure that we have officials in office that understand that. She wrote on Twitter, we are WNBA players, but like the late great John Lewis said, we are also ordinary people with extraordinary vision. Reverend Warnock has spent his life fighting for the people, and we need him in Washington. Join the movement for a better Georgia. And she listed Warnock's website. Raphael Warnock, the Democrat running against Loeffler and Trump's good little boy Doug Collins took to Twitter, I am honored and humbled by the overwhelming support from the WNBA. This movement gives us the opportunity to fight for what we believe in and I stand by all athletes promoting social justice on and off the court. As Deadspin put it, due to the combination of Loeffler's race and gender, she's still being allowed to wake up every morning to be her racist and unethical self. Loeffler is what happens when you give a Karen political power and financial freedom.